Today we are continuing with our series on migration and tennis. It is US Open time, I'm American, and I am a tennis enthusiast, so I thought it would be fun to do a little series on immigrant tennis players. My name is Melissa Siegel, I'm a professor of migration studies, and this is a channel about all things migration. So today we're gonna to talk about the Canadian professional tennis player, Denis Shapovalov who has reached a career high ranking in 2020 of world number 10. Um, Canada actually has quite a lot of immigrant uh, professional tennis players and second generation tennis players. They've had a lot of success in that department. We'll cover some other tennis players from Canada on this channel. So make sure you are on a lookout for those, but let's get into it now. Let's talk about Dennis. So Dennis was actually born in Israel, in Tel Aviv, Israel, on uh, April 15th of 1999. Now, both of his parents were immigrants to Israel from the former Soviet Union and more specifically from Ukraine. So when the former Soviet Union was collapsing, his parents decided to move to Israel. Now, Dennis was actually born in Israel, but before his first birthday, his parents decided to move to Canada. And that is where Dennis has grown up his whole life. He is a Canadian citizen, and he has really made great inroads in the Canadian tennis world. Now, we're looking forward to seeing what Dennis is also going to do in the future. Um, so his parents actually come not, come from a very interesting multicultural background. So they come from an immigrant background, uh, from the former Soviet Union to Israel, then to Canada. His mother was actually a Ukrainian Jew and his fa father a Russian Orthodox Christian. So really, you know, this very kind of interesting multicultural background, very on brand for Canada. Now, Dennis, of course, is not the only immigrant tennis player that's doing well. He's not the only immigrant um, tennis player in Canada that's doing very well right now. So also other tennis players like Felix Ojalasim, whose father is from Togo, and Leila Fernandez, whose father is from Ecuador and her mother comes from a Filipino background, are all doing really well right now, as well as Bianca Andrescu, who was already on the scene for quite some time, who has also won on uh, the US Open, so she's won a Grand Slam in the past and her parents came from Romania in 1994. So it looks like can Canadian tennis has a very, very bright future and that their future has an immigrant background. Uh, so if you found this video useful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I upload every, every week. And if you know of other Canadian immigrant tennis players or immigrant tennis players from other countries, do let us know. We want to continue this series. And make sure, of course, to check out all of these tennis players in the US Open. And I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.